In this video, we'll determine whether series converge or diverge by comparing them to more familiar series. Suppose that the sum of a sub n and the sum of b sub n are series. And suppose that the terms of the series are always greater than or equal to zero, and that a sub n is less than or equal to b sub n for all n. In the pictures below, the heights of the blue bars are supposed to represent the a sub n's, and the heights of the green bars are supposed to represent the b sub n's. If we put the pictures together, we see that the heights of the blue bars are less than the heights of the green bars. So we have the inequality, zero is less than or equal to a sub n is less than or equal to b sub n. Since the base of each bar has length one, the height of each bar is the same number as its area. So when we write the sum from n equals one to infinity of a sub n, this represents the area of all the blue rectangles added up, the total blue area. And when we write the sum from n equals one to infinity of b sub n, this represents the area of all the green rectangles, the total green area. Because the blue bars have a smaller area than the green bars, we can make some conclusions. First of all, if the total green area is finite, then so is the total blue area. In other words, if the sum of the b sub n converges, then so does the sum of the a sub n. Furthermore, if the total blue area is infinite, then so is the total green area. So we can also say if the sum of the a sub n's diverges, then so does the sum of the b sub n's. These facts are known as the comparison test for series and are very useful in establishing convergence. But we have to be careful not to take the conclusions too far. In particular, if the smaller series of a sub n's converges, then we really can't say anything about the larger series of b sub n's. The sum of the b sub n's could converge or it could diverge. Also, if the larger series of b sub n's diverges, then we can't conclude anything about the smaller series of a sub n's. The sum of the a sub n's could converge or could diverge. When using the comparison test to establish convergence or divergence, it's handy to compare your unfamiliar series to a familiar series that you already know converges or diverges. The following series are especially handy when making these comparisons. First, the geometric series, the sum of a times r to the n, which converges when the absolute value of r is less than one. And second, the p series, one over n to the p, which converges when p is greater than one. Let's use the comparison theorem to determine whether the sum of three to the n over five to the n plus n squared converges or diverges. What matters most as far as whether a series converges or diverges is the behavior of the terms when n gets close to infinity. The behavior of the terms when n is small, the behavior of the first few terms, doesn't make any difference as far as whether that series converges or diverges. So I'm going to focus on what happens to these terms as n gets to infinity. Well, 3 to the n goes to infinity, and 5 to the n goes to infinity, and n squared also goes to infinity. But between 5 to the n and n squared, 5 to the n is going to infinity much faster. So I'm going to say that this 5 to the n term dominates the denominator. It's more important. And for that reason, the behavior of the series we're given should be similar to the behavior of the series 3 to the n over 5 to the n, where I've just left out the n squared term, which is insignificant compared to 5 to the n when n is large. So I'm going to compare our given series to this other series, which is a geometric series. In fact, the second series we know converges because it has a common ratio of 3 fifths and the absolute value of 3 fifths is less than 1. 
In order to use the comparison theorem, I'm going to need to compare the terms of this series to the terms of this series, and I want to show that these terms are less than or equal to those terms. Because being smaller than a convergent series will guarantee convergence. It's clear that everything's positive, so we don't have to worry about that. And it's also clear that 5 to the n plus n squared is bigger than or equal to 5 to the n. When you divide by a bigger number, you get a smaller ratio. So 3 to the n over 5 to the n plus n squared is therefore less than or equal to 3 to the n over 5 to the n. We've shown that the inequality we need holds. And so by the comparison theorem, since the sum of 3 to the n over 5 to the n converges, so does our original series. We've established convergence using the comparison test. This video was about the comparison test. The fact that if we have 0 less than or equal to a n less than or equal to b n, and the sum of the bn's converges, then the sum of the smaller series an's converges. And if the sum of the an's diverges, then the sum of the larger series diverges.